everybody. Tonight we're having a night out in downtown Orlando. We're gonna check out some of the more unique and themed establishments that downtown Orlando has to offer. We're starting out at Joysticks. First thing, you're greeted by this really cool stairwell filled with some of our favorite characters from pop culture. Let me show you some of them. We're greeted by a big, screaming, crazy Slimer, a Back to the Future logo. We've got the DeLorean. We've got the out of time license plate. We have Stay Puffed, Mrs. Pac-Man, a Rubik's Cube. Oh my gosh, we have the USS Enterprise up there. What else? Care Bears? Got the nice G.I. Joe logo over here. We've got glowing stairs to climb. Who are you gonna call? Super enthused that too. Oh my gosh, we have the Scooby Gang, and I just saw a deep cut, you guys. Who knows? Fern Gully. Fern Gully is up in here. That shows me I'm gonna like this place. Arcade bar. Joysticks, bar games, fun, bar games, woo! I like that the menu's like a hard piece of something here and they have all sorts of cool craft beers. But since we're here, and this is a special place, we're gonna try a cocktail. on anything. Oh. oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Yeah, look at that. My favorite part of joysticks are these themed seated areas, and you know I'm claiming this one for my very own. Me and Sam are gonna sit right there, but I just wanted to show it to you. This is the Haunted Mansion area, and then they've got a Jaws area. That is so, so, so cool. Dark Crystal, which is absolute vanilla, cherry liqueur, and soda are used to create this angle of eternity. Listen, the crystal calls you. I had to order that Dark Crystal because I've never seen a drink named after one of my favorite Jim Henson classics of all time. And then, just doing this, like, what are I, how do I drink this? I'm really scared, you guys. Bubble, bubble, coil and trouble. paying customer here, it's all free play. But don't hog the games. And look at how many games there are. And of course, the dark, never say die, VIP lounge. So many fun games in here. strong in here. I finally have it all to myself. Whoa. Almost all to myself. Hang in there, buddy. Someone who loves you. Get you out. I love how they have these old photos from the original trilogy. Power of the Force.
that's it. Super fun, definitely recommend for a fun night out in downtown Orlando. Something different, something cool where you can play, interact, and have some delicious and unique beverages. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're making our way to our next destination. This is somewhere else cool in downtown Orlando. Hopefully it's stuff green right now. I think that if it wasn't so stormy and rainy, it'd probably be a lot more crowded out tonight. Downtown is kind of like not packed at all. But hey, I'm not complaining about a non-crowded night. Next up, we're gonna check out a brand new bar here in downtown Orlando called Cocktails and Screams. And this looks right up our alley. It was a little bit hard to find, but oh my gosh, I'm so glad we found it. This is definitely where we belong. That is my kind of stage right there. <gasps> oh, gotta watch out around every corner. I absolutely love this. The vibe in here is awesome. The decor, the theming, it's just like, I just love it. I really, really like it here, but also there's a few things that I have questions about. Just a few small details that are a little unsettling, a little creepy, but we'll be okay, right? <laughs> it looks like the top here is drinks and the bottom is food. Oh, wow, there's really unique kind of snacky type of foods here. That's good to know. And then here is a specialty cocktail menu. Wow, a lot to choose from. We got here nice and early and got a really good spot right in front of the school projection, but it's getting more crowded throughout the night. It's got a really fun, good vibe to it. We just ordered some drinks to try. Yeah. I asked, what drinks bubble here? And they said, pretty much half the menu. <laughs> so Sam got the Jekyll and Hyde and I got the Witch's Brew. And those are some really cool looking beverages. Hopefully they taste as good as they look. the whole bottom of the bar here is lined with skulls. Of course, it does mean it doesn't look like there are hooks for bags, but I think I'm willing to sacrifice that for this really cool skull design. And the bar is super cool, cool theming everywhere, all creepy. And the pinball machines are like popping right now. Everybody's really playing. I normally wouldn't film a bathroom, but I checked and no one's in here. 
Look at how cool these sinks are. This one's even got gold fangs. Okay, I'm actually gonna use it now. This Adams family living room is one of the coolest themed areas in a bar I have ever seen. tonight they are showing a movie and we're gonna go check it out oh look how appropriate they're showing nightmare before Christmas on the screen that is really cute there's all sorts of seating it's a beautiful night out on the lake oh let's watch for a little bit just like a nice outdoor movie night in downtown for free this is, this is really cool since Halloween is on a weekday this year, this is technically Halloween weekend. Or you could say the weekend after is Halloween weekend. However you want to do it. Or you could say both are Halloween weekend. I think I'll go with both. But anyway, since this is kind of Halloween weekend, we decided we're kind of in the spooky theme. We're going to roll with it and we're going to go check out another local haunt. So come with us as we make our way to a petrified forest full of horrors. There's a trolley that comes to pick you up from the parking area and drive us over. Yay! That's it. We're pulling up to Petrified Forest. Whoa! Wow! This is crazy! The Terror Trolley! We got the $35 VIP ticket that comes with three trails and one backstage tour. So it was about $37 with all the fees. Three trails, backstage tour. Let's do this, excited. Then you get in line for your new trail, for your first trail. When you come out of that trail, just fast pass to your next trail. Okay, thank you. They just explained to us that they work on a color system. Right now they're on purple, we got green. When the color wheel turns to green, then we can get in line for our houses and fast pass to the next. Here's the wheel. So right now they're on purple, so it's gonna spin around. I don't know which way it spins to green. And that's when we can proceed to enter our house. So we have green. Uh, this is really, really packed, but also everyone's waiting for their color. There's a DJ and music. Uh, not the normal music for a haunt, but I can see the facades back there behind the fog somewhere. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be going in the house and doing the tour at some point soon. There are food trucks. The lines are very, very long. It's a Saturday night. It's a Saturday before Halloween. It's gonna be packed. So once it is your color on the color wheel, you enter through this thing and you enter into here. And these are all the facades of the houses. There are three houses here. I'm very curious to see what these houses are gonna be like. Like, what's the scariness level? What's the creepiness level? Like, what's the like, scare actors versus props versus animatronics level. I will fill you guys in and then we'll also see more on the tour and I'll be telling you about that as well. But right now it's like DJ, music, party atmosphere, like not your normal haunt atmosphere. It's very interesting. But it is a Saturday before Halloween, so woo, party. Island of the Dolls was super, super cool. I loved the sets, it was really great. I'll give you more detail later. It's just it's crazy right now, but it was really good. We're gonna do human experiment now, and um, then this will be the third house. We already did Island of the Dolls over there. Human experiment was a lot of fun, and now we are in line to do Slaughterhouse. The three houses that we did tonight were Island of the Dolls, human experiment, and Slaughterhouse. All three of them were a lot of fun, but my favorite by far was Island of the Dolls. It was so cool. When you go in, they put you in this big boat and then a person pulls the boat a few feet. So it's like you're getting in the boat and getting rowed out 
to the island of the dolls. There are like water elements, the sets are so cool, the actors did such a great job in there. Favorite, I love that kind of like creepy story based theming. Human Experiment was also very cool, Slaughterhouse, all three were cool. A man told me I smell like paprika. He did say that to you, he, he did to say me. that to you. And Slaughterhouse, the whole theme is them eating us, eating people. So you, eat, and then there's a restaurant. The restaurant scene was yeah. so cool. We went through it twice. And I was just about to tell them that the coolest part of the whole thing was the tour. The tour was the best thing. Just $10 extra for you behind the scenes yeah. tour. And it was so cool. It was really cool. And you get to like chat to a scare actor and ask them like questions. And then about the, like, it's that um, in someone's back garden. Yeah, so this has been going on for 12 years and it started in a backyard, which is so cool. And someone told me I smell like paprika. He smells like paprika, so they want to cook him, so we I, need to get you out of here. I don't think that's why I smell like Ooh, spicy. They actually pulled two scare actors out during the tour, and it was so, so cool to get to ask some questions about what they do, how they got into this, like why and how they enjoy it. So awesome, and thank you to the scare actors who took time out to chat with us, and thank you to our guide. We we had a great time. I love that they do that. I wish more haunts did that. Did like a an opportunity for you to pay a little extra and have a behind the scenes tour, get to see some of the sets and hear the story and the history of the haunt. Super duper cool. Our tour guide also told us that they break all of this down at the end of the run, and it takes about six weeks to break it all down. And she also told us that part of the team works year round on this. Another cool thing you get to do during the behind the scenes tour is scare people. They basically put us in a little cubby in one of the houses and we got to like stick our arms through like slats in the wall and try to scare people. I don't think anybody was too scared of us. What do you think? I scared everyone. I don't know. I don't feel like I scared people as well as I could. We did not scare anyone. We, <laughs> we didn't scare anyone. I didn't think they'll be hiring us there anytime no, soon. No, no. It was fun. It was still fun to try. And I could see how being a scare actor, like trying to scare people. Yeah. So fun. Such a thrill. Fun plus hard. Like, yeah, it's not easy to scare yeah. people. Surprisingly. Because you think they're like mentally prepared to be scared, but you gotta work for it. One guy just handed me a war. <laughs> you gotta work for them. He was it. Yeah. This was a really fun night. We went out on the town in downtown Orlando, did some cool themed bars, had some drinks. Came out to a cool local independent haunt. I'd say it was a, a really fun night. A really fun Saturday night and a really great way to celebrate Halloween 2019. This will be coming out the week of Halloween, so happy Halloween. Hopefully you spend the weekend before and the weekend after Halloween having a great time and maybe having some scares if that's your thing. Thank you guys again for joining me. Hopefully you had a fun time and got to learn some more about Orlando cool stuff that's out there and independent events like this. I'll see you guys next time for the next adventure. And until then, as always, stay, stay enthused. enthused.